Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today are three track skid steers. One's a T590, this one's a T550, and so is this one. So we're gonna call this uh, thing one and thing two. Um, mm -hmm. We're gonna talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular skid steer in the first clip, thing two, track, uh, skid steer two. Uh, we're going to talk about the operating specs in the second part of the video and then we're going to run it in the third. Um, if you buy any one of these tractors for me, we've got some more tractors in there, skid steers, backhoes, we've got some compaction equipment, we've got a service truck, we have several six inch pumps, water truck, uh, some excavators. Point is, uh, if you buy any one of these machines from me, you're going to be dealing with Pro Provence, who's my right hand man, he's a guy running the camera. Serial number on this machine, or three of the last four digits, is uh, 131. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. Um, price on a new machine like this these days is about 85,000. This machine weighs about 7,557 pounds. The widest point is five foot seven inches. These tracks right here. The bucket itself is actually um, uh, six foot two inches. The bucket is six foot two inches. So if you had the uh, if you had the bucket on, widest point would be six foot two. If you take the bucket off, it's five foot seven. Uh, transportation length from the front of this cutting edge to the end of the counterweight is eleven foot six inches. As far as the history of this machine goes, this machine, like every machine we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because this is an es essentially a rust-free machine. You'll see where the, uh, the paints come off and uh, the rainwater's kind of gotten to the metal, but it in no way, shape, or form is rust pervasive. We're far enough south and we're 300 miles from the, e uh, from the equator, from the coast, so from the ocean. So the only salt we see is a salt on our kitchen table. Just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different large contractor or municipality that we deal with here in the Metroplex. And this machine is not an exception to that. Uh, all three of these tractors came from the same contractor that we've done business with. Um, we've been happy with all the machines that we purchased from him and it should be said that before I purchase any machine I sent two mechanics to go out and inspect it if they say everything's okay with the tractor then I send Pro Provencia to go out and inspect it It'll and be, if he says everything's more. okay then I personally go out and inspect it before I write a check point I'm making is that these machines are four times bedded. Again, this is thing two. Uh, does this one have a 12 volt outlet in the cab? It does, but it's um, it's where is that? I know it's just a I don't think it does. That's oh, no. okay. They're easily put. You can buy them on uh, Amazon for about five bucks easy to put on um, as far as options go this machine has got auxiliary hydraulics here now this is high flow and uh, standard flow hydraulics the high flow gives you uh, 26 27 gallons per minute and the low flow gives you uh, 17 gallons per minute so you can see obviously this has got a quick coupler on it most skid steers do it's got rubber tracks obviously um, as far as the engine goes, all three of these tractors have got the same engine. And I really do think, I'm not positive, so don't, don't quote me on this, but I think that, uh, that this is a Kubota V2607 engine. But uh, Bobcat pri private labels it a D24 NAP. The 66 horsepower engine. Uh, it, this has got a 37 gallon fuel tank, which will give you anywhere from uh, 12 to 18 hours, depending on your operation. 
you can see that that this uh the, the difference between the 590 and the uh, 550s is that you got a higher lift capacity right there um all of the fluid levels on this tractor are where they should be this machine is mechanically sound there's no leaks on it everything works like it should top speed is seven miles an hour <laughs> this undercarriage is probably about 95 percent now maybe 90 percent it's in pretty good shape final drives have got plenty of power to counter rotate the, the tractor and you got plenty of tractive effort <laughs> the hydraulics are strong, the pins and the bushings are tight, there's no deflection or any kind of problem in this coupling area right here. Again this bucket is 6 foot 3 inches wide, it is 21 inches tall, it's uh, 3 foot 2 inches deep. The maximum hinge pin height on this one is about eight foot nine. That one's nine foot four, just to give you an idea. Get a little bit more. The uh, maximum lifting capacity, to give you an idea of the uh, capacity of this machine, is 5,700 pounds. At 50%, it's 2,850 pounds. Now, most. Um, skid steer manufacturers define their operating capacity or up <coughs> their operating capacity of the machine at 35 percent of the maximum which in this case is a 19 is 1995 pounds we have some forks in there that we're gonna measure too but um these uh tracks right here are 12 inch tracks there's uh, five foot nine inches of track on the ground, which yields about a 4.9 uh, PSI rating. Me as a 200 pound, six foot man, I've, I've got a PSI of about eight to 10. So to give you an idea, those th this machine, even though it's a lot heavier than I am, obviously, uh, it's, um, it's lighter because the uh, weight is distributed over such a large area um we're going to talk about the forks i think that's about it pro you got anything else no you got it covered oh all the lights work on them oh yeah all the lights work on all all of these tractors so um uh we're gonna run it in the next clip
All right, this is skid steer number two. Ignition's right here. Turn it on. Before you do anything, you gotta unlock it. This right here is your uh, bucket. This right here is your raise, your lower. And these are your controls, your steering controls. Now, uh, and here's your throttle. Now, I will say about, about these skid steers, a lot of people like the pilot controls. You know, you got your joystick controls here. This is all mechanical linkage right here. This is a fail-proof system. This, this will always work. It will never go bad. Um, a lot of the uh, pilot control systems, you've got a uh, pilot control, you got electronics talking to the computer, talking to the, uh, the pumps for them to come back. I mean, it's all, it's, 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 it's uh, prone to errors when the machines get older and it's very expensive to repair. This is, this is a, um, this is tried and true. It's always been this way and this is the best system to have. Believe me, I've owned a lot of skid steer. If you don't believe me, just look at my YouTube channel. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, so we have this set of forks. We actually have two sets of these forks. They're uh, really light duty forks. I bought them off of eBay. I think they've got a lifting capacity of 2,500 pounds. But um, anyway, these are available. I'm telling you, they're extremely light, light duty. So uh, I could probably work something out with somebody on these forks. These forks, uh, this is a 48 inch tine right here. And they've got a hole blown through them for uh, like a, a ball trailer ball or whatever. The carriage height is three feet. The carriage width is 44 inches. And again, these forklifts are 48 inches. These are light duty forks. 